Our hair is such a crown. In fact, I suspect our hair was the inspiration behind the design of artificial crowns. Safe to say, we put the style in hairstyles. But it's so much more than that. Hairstyles represent what tribe we're from and social status. It's always brought us closer together. Even today when you walk into a room and see another natural, it's instant love. As we continue to rediscover our greatness, we subconsciously pull in information from the past, or at least what we know from it. And at first, a lot of us interpret things literally. When I first went natural, for some reason, I automatically felt like I had to wear my hair in elaborate styles. It wasn't until I was further in my journey that I realized that my natural hair is the style and I can wear it however way I want. If I want my hair to bulk up and thrive, all I have to do is take good care of it and don't stress it out. Hey guys, elaborate hairstyles are amazing and most importantly they're ours. No one can do it like us because no one has hair like us. But there are pros and cons to them that I think are worth going over to help you avoid what a lot of people are currently going through. Nowadays, I think we can all agree that one of the biggest benefits of wearing natural hairstyles is that with minimal effort, they keep your hair neatly in place for an extended period of time. Most of us use them when we need a break from our hair regimen. We call them protective styles, so in a way, we feel like while it's being protected, there's no need for a hair regimen. So what was supposed to be protective can quickly turn into something severely damaging. There is a wrong and right way to install protective styles. And your scalp doesn't automatically stop needing to be cleansed and free of tension when your hair is in a protective style. And your hair strands don't stop needing moisture. Depending on how tight, how often, and how much you neglect your hair while it's in a protective style, the damage can become so bad that you can create a dependency and get into a bad destructive cycle. Here's a link to a video on thinning edges and options on how to restore them. We did not define the neat look. Someone else did. And it's based off a standard that's too basic for us. If you try to force the neat look on your voluptuous natural hair too much and too often, that tension will cause long-term or permanent follicle death. As your hair follicles die, your hair gets more and more sparse and you start to look more and more scalpy. So as you can see, the pros of protective styles can quickly turn into cons if you let it. When it comes to scalp tension, some protective styles pose more of a risk than others. They're in order from worst to best, and of course, added hair, added tension. One last thing. Apart from my long-term protective style regimen, every other time, I like to wear my hair in functional protective styles with my scalp and my hair in mind. For those of you interested in length retention, how you style your hair is 50% of it. I'm working on a video with details on my protective style regimen. When it's posted, I'll leave a link below in the description section. As always, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.